Well, hello everyone, it's Jimmy from Stewart Arts, and today I want to make a confession. Uh, now, you are not the first to hear the confession. My friends have heard it, and uh, uh, yesterday I did tell my wife, and uh, so she was reading the paper, and I said to her, I said, Karen, I'm having a love affair. And she said, Are you now? I said, Yes. And she didn't even really look up from the paper, and she said, How long has this been going on? And I said, oh, about two months. And she said, well, what's her name? And I said, well, her name is Corian, and she's beautiful. And she said, whatever. And that was it. She hasn't said anything else since. So today I'm going to tell you about Corian. Meet Corian. She is this white piece of plastic material that's normally used in kitchen counters. Uh, my friend Ted brought me over a big chunk of Corian a couple of months ago. It was about the size of that piece of red plexiglass when I started and I've used it for a number of things and I found it to be a wonderful material uh, to work with. So I thought I would just share a couple, three of the things that I've actually uh, made with this. Uh, this item, I'm sure you all recognize. No, actually, <laughs> I made this thing uh, for my automaton and it's uh, three layers of that plate. I've cut it into different shapes and uh, it really is neat material to work with. It's very stable. It's easy to cut. You can use it with all of your woodworking tools. Uh, it's sandable and uh, it's polishable. It's very, very, uh, it's a very nice forgiving material to work. Well, here's another. Uh, my friend Jim came over and he said that uh, he was coveting I'm not sure if it's his brother or his friend, but he was coveting this uh, oyster shucking tool. You put the oyster in the corner of this thing and uh, you stick the knife in there and open it up. So his brother had made this thing. It looks like it's maybe made out of wood. And he was wondering if we could make something like that. So I'm working on that. <clears throat> this thing took me all of about 30 minutes to put together yesterday. And I'm not done with it yet, but uh, I took uh, two plies of the Corian and I epoxied them together. It glues very nicely uh, just with good old uh, cyanoacetate or good old super glue. Put these two pieces together, cut them out, sanded them down. Uh, I'll be uh, routing these out here to put a chamfer on the end. And then uh, this will sit in here like this. And then what you do is you just kind of put your oyster in there and uh, you can stick your knife in there. And you have just a nice uh, a backer there to hold it while you're doing your work. So. I'm going to work on that a little bit here, and uh, when I come back, I'll be able to show you pretty much a, a finished item there. I made another video about Corian uh, gears that I had made, and uh, these I did a while back uh, when I first got the Corian. It was the first thing I thought of. And I also machined uh, a number of uh, little collars and sleeves and things for my automatons. Cut these things out and then turn them on the lathe. They're very machinable and uh, great, great material to work with. Here's a part of an automaton that I've been working on for a while, and I'll have a separate video on that later. Uh, but I've uh, started to replace some of the components uh, with acrylic. The, uh, the cams are made out of acrylic here. But this support is uh, cut out of that, uh, that Corian material. Parts have been sanded and uh, are ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, super glue this together. I'll be using cyanoacrylate, not cyanoacetate, as I had said previously. This dollar store glue, it works just fine. Uh, this comes out, they call it a gel, so when you apply it, it leaves a nice little bead, kind of like caulking or something. And when you put it together, it's not runny, so you don't have to clean, there's not a lot of cleanup to do with this. And then when it sets, what I'll do is uh, I'll take it to the drill press and I'll drill these uh, so that the, uh, the little pegs here can go into the uh, part on the top and that'll add a little strength to it. Not that you need it, but uh, if for some reason the glue joint ever gave up, uh, you would still have uh, these metal posts holding it together. Okay, we're glued. I'll allow about 15, 20 minutes for it to set. This is the completed product here. It turned out pretty nice, I think. Um, I glued it up, let it set for several minutes while I did some other things, and then 
I finished drilling the three holes in the back and I put the uh, little steel pins in there and uh, they penetrate uh, through this top piece within about a quarter of an inch of the top here. So the adhesives that we have nowadays are a miracle really of our times, but they always make me a little nervous. And so I'm a guy that likes to have belt and suspenders. So that's why I put the metal fasteners in there. And just a word about safety as far as dealing with the Corian. When you cut this, it will put up a fine white dust, uh, which will get into your uh, respiratory system very quickly. And uh, there's also a bit of a chemical fume uh, that you'll get. So you want to make sure when you're working with this stuff, you're in a well-ventilated area. And uh, for me, I always have a fan blowing uh, to try to move some of it away. And I do use uh, a respirator. I like this 3M respirator. I've been using it for about a year. It's lightweight and comfortable and I think it gets 99.99% of the particulates uh, out, uh, not to mention a lot of the fumes. So do your own research, but I just wanted to uh, make that point that uh, a lot of safety should be observed when you're working with this product. Hmm. Do you think Corianne would cook for us? <laughs>